The race to make Hyperloop technology operational has been gathering pace since entrepreneur Elon Musk first proposed it in 2013. Two main operators are working at breakneck speed to deliver a system that can transport passengers faster than any aeroplane. Richard Branson's Hyperloop One has teamed up with Dubai-based DP World to also come up with a super-fast cargo system. We can do this for a fraction of the price of, of what you can build, you know, conventional trains. Um, and the speed we can put these tracks, the, the, these, these tunnels out is dramatic, um, you know, how, how fast it can all happen. Um, so, uh, you know, so I think a lot, a lot of the world will be connected. The Virgin Group founder sees the system connecting cities and countries. It might already have a name, but when it will be ready to carry its first load is uncertain. The hope is within two to three years, with a test site being built in India next year. Right now, about 25% of the cargo that goes into Mumbai ends up going to Pune. So we're looking to capture some of that cargo onto Hyperloop and do that, get you know, dirty diesel trucks off the road, do it very quickly, and be able to do that in a way that um, actually en enhances the infrastructure they've already built. Competitor Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is to build a track in Abu Dhabi with the aim of having it operational by 2020. The 10-kilometre track will be built in phases. A hyperloop would work by propelling pods through low friction pipes using electricity and magnets, reaching a top speed of more than 1,000 kilometres per hour. Now, the cruising speed of a plane is around 900 kilometres an hour. Well, this is the original sketch of the idea proposed five years ago by Elon Musk. Richard Branson's version would move around 150 million passengers a year to begin with. Hundreds of millions of dollars have already been invested in designing these systems as developers work with governments, mainly in the Middle East, to try to commercialise the technology. Yvonne Yong, ABC News.